Now we're moving on to our next amazing speakers. It's Jessica Lewis and Ben Hookway from Relative Insights with a presentation talk titled, intriguingly, How a Spoonful of Sugar Helps Our Medicine Go Down. Without further ado, it's over to you two. So Relative Insight is a language analytics platform and our customers use us to understand how their customers talk. Because by understanding how your customers talk, you can optimize your communications to those customers. So we get used by big brands all over the world to do this. However, recently, we've been revamping our own content on our own website uh, through COVID. And not enough companies eat their own dog food, in our view. So this is the story of how we applied our own platform to optimize our own content. And the project was run by Jessica, who's going to take over. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, so as Ben said, I'm going to tell you a very short little meta story about how Relative use our own technology to help us shape the comms in order to market our own technology. So as Ben said, we're launching a new website. And when you launch a new website, it gives you a new opportunity to think about the look and feel, to think about the UX, and to think about the, the messaging and all the comms. So as marketing people, we all say that we all know exactly what we need what we need to write about, and we all know our audience inside out, and it's dead easy, and we can just get on there and do it. But actually, that's probably not always true. And there's lots of things that we don't know about our particular target markets that we don't know everything that makes them tick. So we know a relative that we have three very, very distinct uh, sectors that our technology helps. The first one is marketing, brand, and digital. The second is sales and CX. And the third is HR and internal comms. And if you think about one of these people in one of these jobs, they're all really different. So marketing people speak really differently to salespeople. And similarly, HR people talk really differently to salespeople. And they, all of these people have very different challenges and they have very different daily lives. But at relative, what we love is differences because differences really lends itself to comparison. And comparison is what we're all about. So when we were thinking about the kind of data that we could look at in order to get some insights, we thought about job ads. Because if you really think about a job ad, it's basically a list of anyone's day-to-day -day work. So it, what it is, it lists all the challenges that we face, it lists all the tasks that we do, and all the things that are really important to us as people that work in jobs. And so what we did, we analyzed thousands of words from job boards across all of the ads in all of the sectors I mentioned. And by doing that, we could spot lots of little words and linguistic nuances that are really, really specific for people in each of those sectors and each of those jobs. Um, we then did another comparison. And uh, <laughs> I realize I'm giving you a bit of a hard sell, but again, the reason that we love relative ourselves is because we can do lots of different things with one data set. So we can run lots of different comparisons in order to get results. So what we then did is we then run another comparison looking at decision makers, so looking at people like CMOs and like global talent managers, to the platform managers, to the people that are actually using, using our platform, so we could work out how we spoke to each of those different people because they've got different needs. Um, and we found a load of words. Um, some of these words aren't particularly surprising. So competitive mess positioning for marketing isn't that surprising. Demand gen isn't that surprising. What was cool was that ensuring consistency. And what we noticed was that the expression ensuring consistency came up twice as often in the marketing people than for anyone else. Um, again, looking at sales and CX, so using customer experience is not exactly ground shaking. But what was interesting was those 12 different versions, 12 different ways of using using customer experience in those sets. Um, contact centers, another one, again, not surprising, but was surprising, what is that it was, it was always contact centers and never call centers. Um, but finally go to market strategy. So I always assumed that that was quite a marketing expression, but it seems not. It seems that that's very, very relevant in sales world. Um, again, if you look at HR and internal comms, there's nothing massively surprising in mental health and working from home. But what we loved was this being a champion expression. And we noticed that being a champion was used infinitely more within internal comms and HR people than for anyone else. And so with these with these little gems and these little insights, we, were then, we then had nuggets of words, what we could use when we we're talking to each of these people. Um, so insights are all very well and good, and you can say you've done them, and that's nice. But the most important thing with insights is actually doing something with them. So when I was 
tasked with a slightly arduous job of writing a whole copy for the website. I literally had two screens and I had a list highlighted in green of all of the words that we found. And then I had a second screen where I was writing my copy. So I was making sure that every single section, every single header, every single bit, I was using those highlighted green words. And so that I could be confident that in my copy, I was talking to exactly the right people and using exactly the right words that was important to them. Um, so the website isn't actually live yet. So we're going live at the end of the year. But what we found is that all our, um, outgoing copy and all of our sort of, no, all of our uh, content marketing. So all of the blogs and all of the case studies that we've been creating in the meantime, I'm using these same principles. So when I'm writing for salespeople, I'm making sure I'm using the right words. When I'm, when I'm talking to HR people, I'm using the right words. And as a result of that, I'm very excited. That I can actually say that we've seen a 22% uplift in demo requests. And for anyone that works in tech and anyone knows that demo requests are what we live and die by. So it's it seems to be working. So I'm really excited when we would actually launch our website to see how we continue. So in summary, our dog food tastes delicious and we encourage everyone else to try it. So we got a little bit of time left for questions, I think. 